It was recently announced that Netflix will be adapting PlayStation and Guerrilla Games' Horizon franchise into a TV series, presumably a live action one. Now I'm a big fan of this franchise so far, I really liked the first game and I enjoyed the second one as well, having played both of them and I've platinum both of them as well. There are large environments, tons of characters, major and minor, gorgeous visuals, plenty of action and strong relevant themes and messaging mixed in, along with science fiction. So, this Netflix TV show, who should play the live action versions of these characters? I am only focusing on the first game for now because obviously that's where they're going to start, presumably. Because who knows if they'll even get round to adapting the second one also. I'm also focusing on the major characters only because I'd be here all day otherwise. There's a lot of characters in these video games. Plus, let's talk first initially very briefly about what we know about this adaptation so far. We know that it is going to be adapting the first game. We know that the main characters of the first game are going to be in it. We also know that it's going to heavily focus on the build up to the events of the first game. It's going to feature events in the past. I'm not going to be touching that stuff for this review. It's not even a review. Why am I saying it's a review? I'm not going to be touching that stuff, the characters associated with it. I'm purely talking about the characters featured in the video game as prominent main characters. So, let's get into it. Let's start with the easy one, the obvious one. Silence. So Silence is a very mysterious, very secretive character. A character who doesn't speak a huge deal, especially in the second game. He is a sort of antagonistic force, while also kind of being a mental figure at times and a, a guiding figure at times. In the video game, he is played by Lance Reddick. He's voiced by him and he's motion captured by him and the likeness is there as well. So it makes sense that in a live action TV adaptation, that Lance Reddick plays the part. There's no other choice here. Lance Reddick is great in this role. He's a good actor. He's got that certain je ne sais quoi, the certain X factor about him. He nails this role. So get him playing Silence in the TV show. You have to. And Resident Evil's just been cancelled. He's no longer in Bosch. As far as I'm aware, he hasn't got a lot going on right now beyond voicing certain roles. So he might be free to do it. Eren. So in the video games, Eren is sort of a, a friend figure, a guide figure of sorts that you meet somewhere into the first video game. In the second video game, he's much more there as an ally, he's part of your main crew at times. And he's a alcohol-loving, action-loving guy. There's a certain brutal element to him in that he's very up for a fight, he's always up to have some fun. And so you need like a, a grizzly manly man to play this role, ideally. So why not Joe Legend? Joe Legend, he could certainly change his hairstyle to look this part. And that's a big part of this character is the way he looks. The type of beard he's got going on, the type of hairstyle he's got going on. It's a very unique look. In fact, all the characters in this game have very unique looks for very specific reasons. Joel Edgerton, I think, would be a really good choice here. Another possibility is Ryan Hurst, a smaller name associated with TV roles. Ryan Hurst, probably best known for Sons of Anarchy. He's popped up in The Walking Dead as well. Whether he would want to change his hairstyle and stuff, I don't know. Everything I've seen, the mini kind of looks the same. I don't know if he'd want to get rid of that long, luscious hair that he's got going on. But hey, he could do a pretty decent job here. Yeah, he usually plays villainous roles or darker roles, so maybe the more happier, lighter role of Eren might not be quite right, but I'm sure he's got the acting skills to pull it off. If you want a really bigger name though, Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler is starting to get on the older side of things, but he could do this role. Maybe they don't want to cast such a big name star in what would be a supporting role. So I don't think that would be quite right. But a younger Gerard Butler I could totally see in this role. Vol. So Vol in the video games is a bit like Eren except much more friendly. I would say Vol is your like best friend, especially in the second game. He's the one who's there alongside you all the way through the game for the most part. And he's there giving you support, he's there providing you support both mentally and physically. So he has to be friendly, he has to be very likeable. I've gone for Lakeith Stanfield here. There's 
got to be a youthful element to him here. Lakeith Stanfield looks young enough, I would say, to play the role, even though I think he is a bit on the older side for this particular role. He could nail this part, I think. He could do a really good job. He's very likeable. He's got this certain energy about him. He usually plays a bit more subdued characters. I think in this role, he would have to be a bit brighter. But again, Lakeith Stanfield, a fairly big name. He's still on the rise, I would say, in certain regards. Maybe not something he would want to do. Helis, one of the main antagonistic forces of the first video game. Not a lot to say about this character. I would say Richard Coyle has a visual resemblance to him, so that's who I'm going for here. Richard Coyle, I think he's also a decent actor, plays villainous sort of roles. So yeah, make him play Velas. Helis, sorry. Makes sense. Rost. So Rost in the first video game is the father figure to Aloy. He's the main character's father in a certain sense, adopted father, I would say. And that means he's got to be like your Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. The guy who's teaching you, who's training you, who's giving you all this wisdom and advice and who you look up to and admire and love. So he's got to be very likeable. Who have I gone for for Rost? Well, if you want the really big names, I'm putting out all these big names even though it's not going to happen. Russell Crowe has a resemblance to Rost. Given the beard, he's obviously Russell Crowe has put on a little, quite a bit of weight at this point, but that's not really relevant to this role at all. By the time you put all the furs and the costume and the stuff on there, he would be totally fine looking the part of Ross in this video game adaptation. If you want a smaller name, Holt McCallany. Holt McCallany doesn't quite look the part, you would have to change his hair and give him a beard and stuff, but I think he could do a really good job of being the friendly father figure type of character here. I like him a lot, he's probably best known for his work in Mindhunter. Last one I'm going to talk about today is, of course, the big one. The obvious one. Aloy, the main character of Horizon. So Aloy is the adventure-seeking, the inquisitive main character of the video games. She can kick some ass, she's smart, she's got these quips and jokes at the same time. She's got a bit of humour and charm about her. Of course, there's a very distinct look about her, she's got that flowing red hair. That's a very key part of it. So who do you want to play these roles? Well, there are some big obvious ones floating around on the internet of people who should play this role. And quite frankly, I don't think any of them are going to get it. I think Aloy is going to be played in this TV show by a complete unknown person. So I can't guess that because I don't know them. No one can guess them because we don't know them. They're not big names and not big stars. And I think that would be the best choice for this role. Make a star rather than bring in a star. However, where's the fun in that for this video? Karen Gillan would be the big one. I think she is getting a little too old to play Aloy now, although she doesn't look it. She's got the red hair, she's got the personality. She could really do a good job here. If you want something a bit more gritty, then you've got Rose Leslie from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones and Downton Abbey and a bunch of other things now as well. In Game of Thrones, she pretty much just is Aloy in many ways. She plays Egret in Game of Thrones, pretty different from the book version, but she looks exactly like what Aloy should look like in that TV show. So it makes perfect sense and she can act. She's in The Good Fight as well, that's another thing. A really good show. So Rose Leslie would be perfect for this again. Maybe getting a little too old now, but she doesn't look it. Now, those are some of the older names. What about some of the newer upcoming names? Well, the obvious one I would say is Erin Kellyman. So Erin Kellyman making a name for herself in Rogue, not Rogue One, Solo, A Star Wars Story, also popping up in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier as the main villain there. She is a decent actress, she's got the red hair, she's got the long hair, she's got the looks about her, she's covered in freckles. She is a very decent actor as well, she's also in The Green Knight. I think she would do a really good job here. Maybe she doesn't quite have the huge, poppy, quirky, fun personality, but maybe that's just the roles that she's played so far. Maybe she does have that and we just haven't seen it. But yeah, if you want a younger actress to play the role, she would be ideal. Or why not Sophia Lillis? She has the look, she has the red hair, she's young, she could do it, she's got in best known for the IT movies, the recent IT movies, as well as Sharp Objects, that TV miniseries. She'll probably have to grow her hair out or give her a wig now, because I think she's got her hair pretty short. She could do a good job of that as well. She is a younger name. But like I said, Aloy I think is going to be played by a complete unknown. 
all these big names that I pointed out, they're the obvious ones. They're the ones floating around the internet. Everyone wants the Aloy to be played by. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Get someone new in there. And anyway, those are the casting choices I would make for this Horizon TV show adaptation. Who would you like to see in these roles? Let me know in the comments and feedback down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel to get more content like this. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore Grant Burton if you really want. Thanks for watching.